Is it true you've ordered in non-lethal weapons? Morning, Becker. Jess, so, three extra shells. <clears throat> yeah. I got a lot of plans. The team need real guns. We're not collecting for a petting zoo. These creatures aren't just interesting, they're also deadly. Yeah, I know. So you know what happens when we cut corners? People get hurt, people die. Why don't you just give the new weapons a chance? You might be pleasantly surprised. Jess? Yeah, lots of shelves, lots of plants, got it. I'll see you both at the meeting. He's got no idea. I don't know, I think he's all right. Yeah, well, I don't trust him. And you'll see the rest of the team won't either. Okay, guys, for those of you I've not met properly, my name's Matt Anderson, I'm your new team leader. For the last couple of days, your esteemed colleague, Captain Becker, has been bending my ear on every detail of this operation to ensure that you lot are properly looked after. So I would like to assure you that safety, the safety of this entire team, even the safety of Captain Becker, is my number one priority. Your jobs are demanding. Your jobs are dangerous. You put your lives on the line to protect the public every time that alarm goes off. There's no room for errors. There's no time for on-the-job training. So with all of that in mind, some new policy changes are being implemented. All new field operatives will be strictly military or from a military background. Safety will come first. There will be no more civilian recruiting. If anybody wants to talk about this, my door is always open. Over the last few months, a lot of you have testified to the last mission of the Old Ark. But yesterday, that investigation was officially wrapped up. Abby Maitland, Connor Temple and Danny Quinn have been pronounced missing, presumed dead. I would like to make it clear today that this means absolutely nothing over the years, this organization has lost many brilliant people, including Nick Cotter, Stephen Hart, most recently Sarah Page. But as far as I'm concerned, this does not include Abby Maitland, Connor Temple, and Danny Quinn. These people could still be out there fighting to stay alive, fighting to make it home. I didn't have the chance to work with them all, as you did, but I hope that someday I will. So today, as your new team leader, I am rejecting the government's findings. We're not giving up on these guys. Not yet.